Hi, it's Laura Lynn from TeddyBearAcademy.net, where you can take online teddy bear making classes from the comfort of your own home. In this week's free video, I'm going to go over the very basic tools that you need to make teddy bears. You don't need a lot of fancy tools to make teddy bears. In fact, you don't even need a sewing machine. So I'd like to show you some of the very basic tools that I use when I'm making my teddy bears. Now first, we do need some needles. These were all straight when I originally purchased them. They did get bent as I used them. But I use this needle. It's a uh, basting needle, a quilter's basting needle for my hand sewing. I chose this one because it's very skinny so it doesn't make a large hole in the fabric. And the, uh, the head on the needle is also narrow, but for me it's big enough that I can still thread it. Uh, I, this is a three inch soft sculpture needle. I use this for stitching my bear's noses. And then this is a, a five inch doll needle. And I will often use that for inserting the eyes or uh, occasionally I'll use that for uh, sinking threads or uh, sometimes I'll use it for stitching the bear's noses as well. So those are the three basic needles that I use. Now you also need some pins to hold your fabric together as you're stitching. This is a needle nose pliers. It comes in very handy for grabbing the needles when you're having a hard time getting them through the fabric or through the nose, through the head when you're trying to stitch that nose. Uh, I also use them for uh, in, uh, closing up my joints and things inside the bear. I use these all the time. You do need a pair of very sharp scissors that you only use for your bear making or for fabric. I personally like a shorter uh, blade length because I have more control over it so that I don't chop the fabric or the mohair, the furry part by mistake. A black sharpie. Uh, this is, I usually use this fine tip one. Occasionally I'll use the regular size one. And this I use for tracing the pattern pieces onto my fabric. Uh, here I have a chopstick that I've kind of rounded the end here a little bit and dulled it. Or I might use the uh, eraser end of a pencil, a clean one. These I will use to help with stuffing my teddy bears. And then for inserting the, the holes so that you can get the joints in your teddy bears or, and, not or, but also when you're putting the eyes in your teddy bears, I will often use an awl. But if you don't have an awl, you can use a barbecue skewer or you can take that uh, chopstick and you can sharpen it to a point. And that's it. Those are all the tools that you actually need to make beautiful teddy bears.